A stepper motor is a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical movement. It supplied DC electricity in a certain controlled sequence which causes rotation. The rotation can be continuous in either the forwards or reverse direction, or we can control the rotation in small steps for high precision control. The motor can even stop at a desired point and hold this position. This is more advanced than a standard DC motor, which can only rotate continuously in either the forwards or reverse direction. Therefore, stepper motors are far more useful in automation and manufacturing because they offer precision control. That is why we find stepper motors used everywhere from 3D printers, CNC machines, printer scanners, and even electronic expansion valves in precision refrigeration systems. By the way, you can learn how DC and AC motors work from our previous videos. I'll leave a link in the video description down below for you. The motor is attached to a motor driver, which basically contains some electronic switches that are capable of turning on and off at high speed. A controller determines when to turn these switches on and off. It usually follows some code to achieve this. The driver is typically a dedicated circuit board specifically designed for that application, and the controller can be, for example, a PLC unit or even a simple cheap little Arduino. The switches will allow electricity to flow in pulses through the motor's coils. We'll see those in just a moment. Every pulse received causes the motor to rotate one step. A typical stepper motor is designed to have 200 steps. This means it would take 200 pulses to complete a full rotation of the shaft. A full rotation would be 360 degrees. So if it takes 200 steps to achieve this, then 360 degrees divided by 200 steps means each step causes the shaft to rotate 1.8 degrees. The speed of switching and the order the switches are controlled in will determine the rotational speed and also the direction of rotation. Check out one of the videos on screen now to continue learning about electrical and electronics engineering and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course, theengineeringmindset.com.